All right, so the first biome we got on this list is going to be the Crash Zone. Now, aside from the Reapers that plague this biome, which makes it like a thousand times more scary than it needs to be, the Crash Zone is also one of the few surface biomes that's harder to see in, I was saying, because of the water. The water is like super murky and dirty and brown and ugly and disgusting because of the dirt that the Aurora probably kicked up whenever it landed in the water. So the two biggest things that make this biome scary is going to be the visibility, the low visibility in this biome from the murky water and stuff that makes it hard to see things from a distance. Like I can't even see the reapers right now. And if we do see them from a distance, they're probably gonna come in as silhouette. Yep, right there. You can just barely see them. And that's kind of scary on its own, especially considering how big they are. So yeah, low visibility in this biome makes it a thousand times more scary. And the reapers in this biome also make it a thousand times scary because reapers make any bomb scary because you know, they're freaking reapers and who the freak wants to deal with reapers on a daily basis. Now, the other thing about this biome that I think I don't really, or I forgot to talk about because it's my second time recording this video because the first time I recorded it, it didn't uh, record the right audio. But anyways, the other thing about this biome that's a little bit freaky to me is the fact that the water is not like a ocean is color. So you know how like all the other surface biomes have like ocean type colors, like the water's like blue. So we got the blue water, the green, greenish water. You got like the greenish blue water, sort of, sort of like, um, like bluish colors, you know, colors that you would associate with the ocean. This biome does not have that at all. And it's like completely brown brown or like this tannish color which a which is a little bit unsettling especially considering how open this biome is a super open unsettling color low visibility and the reapers in this biome all make for a pretty scary surface biome and with that we can head to the next one so we're getting into the darker biomes now so the next one we have is going to be the blood kelp caves whether it's the blood kelp trench caves or the blood kelp zone caves they're virtually the same basically Hyundai palisade versus nissan pathfinder thank you some reason a Nissan ad just started playing in my ear, but whatever. But the next bomb we have is going to be the Blood Cup Caves. Whether it's the Blood Cup Trench Caves or the Blood Cup Zone Caves, they're still both as scary as each other. I also see a crab squid up there. He's kind of scary too. So this biome is a, it's very much darker than the previous biome that I just showed. And there's also some creepy looking creatures in this biome. So we got the blood, blood crawlers. They don't really do that much damage, but they do look kind of creepy and they fit the biome pretty well. The other thing is going to be these little, uh, I don't even know what to call these uh, roots, whatever the freak you want to call these things. They're kind of all throughout the floor of the biome and it makes it look like, in my opinion, at least my little thought process, I'm thinking like there's like little worms in the rocks of the biome just swimming around. So that's a little freaky to think about as well. And then you got these giant plants, which are basically the only light source in this biome. I think aside from the giant plants and these little, uh, whatever you want to call these, those little light bulbs, barnacle, barnacle thingy majiggies. Those are the only two light sources in this biome. So other than that, you're going to be in a pretty dark, pretty dark biome with some pretty freaky looking creatures. Even though the creatures aren't game, we got freaky creature number two Got the blighters chasing me around. Although there aren't any like leviathans or anything like super large, large in this biome, it is still kind of a creepy biome to be in because of the way the creatures look, the way. And then you got the crab squids, the ambient crab squid noises in the background, because they can sort of enter this biome as well, depending on which uh, blood kelp cave you're in. But if I was playing this game for the first time, this would be a creepier biome for me to be in. So yeah, with that, let's go to the next list. Next list, okay, go to the next biome. Oh my gosh. All right, the next biome we got on this list is going to be the blood kelp trench. Reminds me of the Marietta trench, even though it's not nearly as deep, it's still same, sort of same vibes at least, I guess you can say they're both trenches that's the only similarities they really have just like the last blood kelp biome this one's also super dark and in a game like subnautica light is basically everything because if you can see everything around you then everything's automatically not as scary but if you can't see anything even with a flashlight out so as you can see i have this flashlight out but it's still stuff in front of me is still sort of hard to see because there's a lot of there's a lot of pitch black around this area so the darker areas of this game are some of the scariest ones especially when 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 it comes to the last spot on this list but anyways now these plants these giant plants are a little bit different than the ones you would find in the blood cup caves because these aren't in the blood cup caves because you know it's too small for them to fit in there but again if i was a newer player and i saw these plants i'd be pretty freaked out it is the color of oh, this because it's a wall right there if i saw these plants as a new time player then I would definitely be freaked out as well. Especially considering the way the top looks. The top looks like a giant sucker, basically. He's got these little, uh, these spines on the on the arms of the, uh, on the plant. And then you got the middle, looks like sort of a mouth or, or a butthole, whatever you're, whatever you're, whatever you're in, whatever your poison is. The only thing that makes it a little less so scary is because the lights on the wall that sort of illuminate the area around you. 
and it only really illuminates the wall. It doesn't really illuminate the open area, but you go straight down, all the way down. So with that, let's go to the next pile. All right, just like that, we're at the next pile. The next pile is going to be the Lost River, the biome that I was just talking about at the last spot, if y'all were paying attention. Main difference between this place and the biomes that I just showed before is the visibility. Now in this biome, you're going to be able to see almost everything, you know, around you, because this biome has pretty, pretty decent visibility, especially considering it's a cave. Now, I would say the Lost River isn't like a biome where you would come in and be like, oh, wow, I need to turn around instantly. You know, it's not that kind of scary, but it's more like the biome that you slowly go through and just look at everything and then be a little unnerved or freaked out, especially because you got this freaky creature coming towards me. Because all the creatures in this biome are a little, a lot of them are bioluminescent, meaning that you can see through them. Like the river probe is right here. You got the ghost of and you can see through their entire bodies. That's sort of freaky. You got some of the smaller fishes, like these guys right here. You can also see their bones. And speaking of bones, this biome has a lot of bones. So it feels like when I come into the Lost River, it feels like I'm swimming through like a, a giant fossil, basically. You got these giant fossils, there's bones all around the biome that you can find, aside from the one I'm just looking at right now. But the cool biome to explore as well, but it's more, it's more like a, un, it's probably like the most unnerving biome, I'd say. Because everything feels either super, everything in this biome feels either, like it's either super old or it's already dead. And there's bones are just here. You're just going through the remains of all the past creatures or formations that may have happened in this biome. It's kind of cool to think about. Also a little unnerving. But yeah, Lost River, more more unnerving than anything. Gets you thinking about what could have been in this biome, what used to live here, etc. Let's go to the last biome. So, so, so we, so we all, we all heard that, right? We all heard the absolute nothingness that, that came with coming into the void. So the last, the last, um, biome on this list is going to be the void, which is going to be the scariest biome in Subnautica, in my opinion, because there's nothing in this biome and it's pitch black, literally the color black. There's nothing in this biome. There's no walls, no sea floor, no resources, no nothing. If you look on the wiki to see what's in this biome, it'll literally just say death. Like all it says is death that's in this biome. Because that's all that's going to be waiting for you when you come into this biome. Death and a whole bunch of ghost lives. So that's literally it. It's a cool way to keep players from like leaving the map and whatnot. But you know, you know, just, just a little too scary considering there's no light in here, no nothing, nothing, not even from the surface. And if you're near the surface, it's just a super deep, deep blue. And then there's nothing. It's like a deep blue nothingness. And it's like, that is just the scariest thing, especially in the ocean. I also have no sense of direction in this because I don't even know if I'm going up or down. But yeah, the void, easily the scariest bomb in this game because there's literally nothing in here. It's completely black. And even with your lights, you can't, the, the lights don't do much for this biome because there's nothing to illuminate other than the ghost of violence, but they're already illuminating themselves when they come after you to eat you and whatnot. So yeah, Void is easily the scariest biome in this, in Subnautica. Let me get up out of here though. And yeah, those were the top five scariest biomes in Subnautica, in my opinion. And thank you all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.